over at Chikan Tower or Fort Provincia. So when the Dutch occupied Taiwan, they built two forts, Fort Zealandia and Fort Provincia. Well, Goshinga is the one who managed to wrest Taiwan from the Dutch. He freed, freed the nation. Goshinga is in the center. They make uh, after the war. They make a peaceful agreement. So, Goshinga and uh, did the Dutch still trade then here? They still traded, or did they leave entirely? They can trade it, but uh, they didn't occupy the Taiwan as uh, no more. This nine stone steely with the turtle. Turtle is a the dragon have nine sons. This is one of his sons. The yeah, the characters are Manchurian and Chinese. And a turtle is believed to be a celestial animal, possesses, possesses protective powers, and symbolizes support, endurance, wealth, longevity, good luck, and fortune. In other words, everything. All my turtles. First level is still part of the original. And it was used as an administration center by the Dutch. This is the original entrance built by the Dutch colonists. They began a defensive project for the inland sea that included west-facing both forts, Provincia and Zealandia. But for safety reasons, they didn't ex excavate any further. But this dates from 1653. If you rub the dragon's head here, it's for success. Rub the nose, rub the nose, success too. It's in the ears, the head, the eyes, and the mouth. He's named a Tower of Savages or Tower of Red Haired Barbarians because the Dutch were fairer. That's what the fort originally looked like. And now, yes, it looks Dutch. The water was outside. That's yeah. what um, Gordon just said in the old days. The inland sea has dried up naturally. And there was and a the, castle. Yes, castle. This castle, uh, Fort Zelandia and Fort Borgindia, just uh, built beside the uh, inland sea. It is far, so uh, outside is the street. All water of Goshinga, who was the national hero of his day. Flower vase shaped gates were built during the Qing Dynasty 200 years ago, and above it is a rabbit. That is Steve's astrological symbol, and his birthday is in four more days. His god of the seas. You can see how tiny these books are that they wrote with pen and ink. Teeny, teeny little letters and to learn it by lanterns, by oil lanterns. Oh my god, I would have been blinder than I am. Some of the ruins from the original fort. The bricks were made in Jakarta. Indonesia was a Dutch colony at the time, and then brought here to Taiwan. There was no cement in those days, so they used sticky rice, sugar syrup, oyster shells. You can still see little teeny bits of the shells. Business temple was built in the 17th century. First time I've seen the gods dressed in embroidered robes. These houses are new. They're not old, but aren't they cute? Very Dutch looking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It is a number one cultural site. 
We're standing here at Old Unpink Fort, or as it was called, Fort Zealandia, built by the Dutch. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history on speed, okay? I'm just going to zoom through it. The Dutch occupied Anping in 1624, built a massive fort, and named it Fort Zealandia. Fort renamed King Castle, Anping Castle, Taiwan Castle, because Goshinga, a Chinese military leader, lived here. Japanese rebuilt and named it Anping Old Fort. And the only remains of the Dutch fort inside is just the outer wall, the bulwark, nothing else. Now, now you know what we're going to see. Shades of Laura Croft Tomb Raider. This is a remain of the old wall. Southern outer fort wall. Filled with leaves and branches of banyan trees. And in there before was called an iron wall lock to hold the pieces together. And uh, like I showed you the bricks over at the other fort area, they used sugar syrup, rice, oyster shells to keep it together. Look at that's from this side. It is so beautiful. The roots don't even look real. It looks just like some kind of rope or steel cables. These little dangly things are air roots from the banyan tree and eventually one makes its way down into the ground just like this one and becomes a support root. All these trees are at least three to four hundred years old. Other only remaining part of, the, of Fort Zealandia in the center is a well and the semicircular bulwark. Both sides which drew seawater to the fort to prevent fire. But only this one remains. Was there a, an original tower built by the, um, by the Dutch though? Original in the middle, yes. Yeah, there was one, but this was built by the Japanese. It's a trademark of the Dutch East India Company. To establish VOC, their trading company in 1602, and they were seeking footholds along the China coast for trade. Uh, Darren Strong to carry one of these lances, even one of these Dutch swords from 1645. <laughs> Instructor, what, what was once a Dutch lookout? A Qing dynasty cannon from 1684.